Hey guys, this is Austin. This is the Pocophone F1. When Xiaomi reached out and wanted to sponsor a video on their brand new Pocophone brand, which specifically includes the F1 as their very first phone, I had one question. What exactly is this? With a price tag of around $300, the Pocophone F1 might be the best deal in smartphones right now. So inside, not only are you going to be getting a giant battery, but you're also getting a full flagship grade Snapdragon 845 processor in a $300 phone. Pop open the box, and what we're going to find is, well, first of all, a whole lot of yellow, but we also have the Pocophone F1 itself. <laughs> I can't get it out of the box. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got it! <laughs> I don't think it's ever taken three people to get a phone out of a box before, but you can know that they definitely very securely shipped the Poco Phone F1. <laughs> so in addition to the base model of the Poco Phone, there's also going to be the Armored Edition, which is what I have here. Now this on the back, while it looks like it might be fake, it's actually real Aramid fiber, which is commonly used in stuff like bulletproof vests and high-end sports gear. I'm not supposed to do this. Ken's not gonna like it if I do this, but... <laughs> yeah, that's actually not bad. It does feel pretty sturdy. I've got to say, I'm really enjoying sort of just like the general feel of the device. It is very different than all of the glass and aluminum phones we take a look at. And I appreciate it. There's also some nice little touches. Like, it seems like the fingerprint sensor is glass or maybe like ceramic, but it actually gives a little bit of a nice look to the back of the phone. In addition to the USB-C port on the bottom of the phone, which does support Quick Charge 3.0, you're also going to find a headphone jack. Yes, my friends, yet another phone in 2018 which has still kept the headphone jack. An excellent trend that will probably be gone by next year, but you know. Now there's definitely going to be a notch as well as a chin, but something interesting they've done is actually do a pretty severe curve on the edges of the display. Inside, you will find the Snapdragon 845. Now this is going to be the exact same as what you're going to find on other high-end Android flagships. Definitely nice to see it a phone at this price. And on top of that, this model is going to be rocking six gigabytes of RAM as well as 128 gigabytes of storage. Even though the phone is going to be fairly thin and light, it actually does have a full 4,000 milliamp hour battery, which is nice to see, especially considering that some other thousand dollar flagships also have the same size battery, but this is going to be much, much less expensive. To keep everything cool, Pocophone opted to go with liquid cool tech for the F1. Now traditionally, a chip was going to be able to just dissipate all of its heat on the back of the phone and through the body, but using this, it's going to be able to allow you to run it a little bit cooler for a little bit longer. One of the main advantages here is that even when you're doing extended gaming sessions, the phone shouldn't get that hot, and very importantly for a mobile chip like this, it shouldn't overheat and it shouldn't go anywhere near to the same level of throttling that you could have if you had a terrible cooler on your phone. Not that anyone's ever done that. So to thoroughly test how this works, I'm going to play a full game of PUBG Mobile and see just how hot the phone gets. Again though, this is thorough scientific testing, not me just looking for an excuse to play PUBG Mobile. Now it should be no surprise that with an 845 on board, we have no problem playing even fairly intense Android games such as PUBG Mobile pretty much maxed out. Where, where is that coming from? Hey, there we go. I can totally play against real people who are totally not bots. I'm actually kind of surprised. The back of the phone, at least to the touch, doesn't even feel warm yet. Let's actually pull out the thermal camera and see. So on here, it seems like there is a little bit of a hot spot right beside the camera, but even to the touch, I mean, it's only just slightly warm. The Pocophone is rocking dual cameras around back. So it's got a 12 megapixel main shooter as well as a five megapixel secondary shooter, which is primarily used for portrait photos. It does a decent job. It's not completely perfect as far as cutting you off from the background, but it's not going to be bad. Let's try the normal shooter. That is actually pretty good. So it does have AI tech on board to be able to analyze the image and tune it based on what you're taking a photo of. And for the most part, it actually does a really good job of enhancing the images. All I know is it looks nice, so can't complain about that. There's also going to be pretty decent slow motion on board. It can shoot 1080p video up to 240 frames per second, as we shall now demonstrate. Are you ready? That actually looks really good. Ugh. <laughs> That's not bad, dude. That's no. actually really clean. Yeah. You know, something else that's pretty impressive with that clip is actually did a pretty good job with autofocus. Even though obviously I'm moving very quickly, it almost held me the entire time. We also do have a pretty decent front-facing camera as we shall now demonstrate. Right, guys? That's a really bad selfie. I mean, the camera's great, don't get me wrong. It's, it's uh, I don't know what's going on with my face. That's not okay. They've actually got a pretty decent sensor around here. I can actually tell because you're actually slightly out of focus just being right behind us. Now, while Pocophone might be a new brand, Xiaomi most definitely is not. So while the F1 is not going to be some crazy high-end flagship, what it is is a very reasonably priced phone that absolutely will get the job done. 